Beware, you silly people. This is a warning to all of you silly willies out there roaming the internets, especially those of you interested in spooky things. There's a scary picture of a clown that's floating around, and it is super duper cursed. You may not believe me, but you should because I am a very honest person and would not lie about such a super serial topic. I am a Christian, which means I believe in Jesus. If I were lying, I would go right to the devil along with Jeffrey Dahmer and Mussolini where chubby demons would gnaw my ankles or something. So believe you me when I tell you this, silly people, that if you happen upon an image entitled The Clown by an obscure but talented artist named Kevin Carmela, look away and wash your eyeballs because a can of turds has been opened and each of those canned turds is about to fly right into a ceiling fan. Kevin Carmela. You'll know that it's the picture the moment you see it because the clown looks evil. It has sinister eyes and long claws and it's standing in a doorway and is about to enter an open door. This open door symbolizes your life, the life this evil clown is about to enter. All because you saw the image and the image is cursed. Perhaps it's cursed by magic or maybe it's cursed by science, but it is cursed nonetheless. And now that you have saw it, bad things are about to happen to you. First, you will be paralyzed with fear and you will poop your pants. Next, you will run to the bathroom to clean your soiled breeches. And when you look up into the bathroom mirror, you'll be horrified to see your parents making out. And they'll be looking you directly in the eye as this is occurring, licking their lips and making kissy faces at you. Shocked and mortified by what you're seeing, you will punch the mirror and it will break. This is when your lascivious parents will reach out from behind the mirror and drag you into a portal of nightmares. Like Alice in Wonderland, you will enter the portal and fall down a long rabbit hole that smells like sulfur and feta cheese. This is because the rabbit hole you're passing through is really a cosmic dragon god's colon. Eventually, you'll be shit out onto a pile of ferret corpses in the middle of a field, and the fun begins. You will be approached by an elderly man wearing a princess costume and top hat. He will extend two clenched fists outward and ask you to pick either his left hand or his right hand. No matter what hand you pick, he will proceed to bitch slap you with his right hand. After having been knocked out, you will wake up in your bed thinking this was all just a dream. You'll get up to go to school or work, but you will notice something is a bit off how you feel. You will feel mildly fatigued. And for the next seven months or so, you'll have to go about your life feeling kind of tired as you go about your day. Breaking the mirror is seven years bad luck. Nothing will help to relieve this. Coffee will just stain your teeth and energy drinks will turn your pee fluorescent yellow. This decreased quality of life will lead to lower motivation and productivity and you will soon become impoverished. You will be forced to subside off of Great Valley SpaghettiOs and dollar store cheese. A lack of nutrition will make you weak and feeble. This is when you'll be approached by a husky fella named Julian. He'll start teasing you and taunting you like any school you're a bully, but you'll be too fragile to stand up for yourself. He'll start flicking you on the forehead with his index finger. Then he'll forcibly take your own arm and start using it to hit you repeatedly. But despite this being under his control, he will ask you why you are hitting yourself. And that you can do, all that you can do at this point is cower and cry. So you'll begin sobbing big old crocodile bitch tears. That's when your grandfather, who is a World War II veteran, will walk by and see you cry in those big old bitch tears. He'll lower his head in shame and turn away from you. Then, suddenly possessed by violent feelings of disgust, your grandfather will snort deeply and spit out a warm green loogie into your hair. He'll then turn to Julian and firmly shake his hand before walking away. At this time, you will be a broken man. Even if you are a woman, your spirit will be crushed just like your broken bones because Julian pummeled you into the ground after your grandpa left. And just as you thought your life could not be made any worse, this is when Carmela Kamea, clown from the cursed image you saw, will fall from the sky and begin to prance around you. This magical entity will wave his hands around effeminately and contort his body in all sorts of unnatural ways as he circles around you in some kind of weird interpretive dance. 
But this dance isn't some art school bullshit done to impress dipshit critical studies professors. Uh uh uh. Mm -mm. This is a ritual. And a spell is being cast. As the clown prances around you, you will become strong and healthy again. Your bank account will swell with money, and your grandfather will take pride in his grandson, maybe granddaughter, once again. Your life will be fixed. All the evil that has occurred to you will be erased. All wrongs against you will have been remedied, and the curse will be broken. But your leg will fall asleep for around three minutes every Tuesday for the rest of your life. Well, shit. That sucks. So I implore you, silly people, if you happen upon a spooky image of a sinister clown, look away, wash your eyeballs, lest you endure the wrath of the... Yeah, I'm tired. I'm just going to stop right here.